My name is Luis. I live in Mexico City. And my first approach with cybersecurity was uh, since bachelor degree. My approach to forensics investigator uh, started when I was finishing my previous studies on bachelor degree. And currently I'm employed in a private company as an incident responder. I believe that the most challenging part of a forensic investigator is to comply with, this, with the standards of uh, gathering uh, the evidence and try to comply with this without uh, altering the evidence and giving the best outcome possible. One of the major benefits from this certification was to be able to understand a little bit more from the landscape of cybersecurity, especially as an incident responder. I prepare myself for the exam, uh, doing the classic stuff, reading the book, and also highlighting the important points at the end of the chapter. They called it the summary. And also I try to, to check in forums uh, and try to find people who are interested in presenting the exam. Some of these people give you insight or maybe highlights of what could be in the exam. So I recommend you to do that. What I like from this program is the fact that I was lucky enough to enroll myself with co-workers and an instructor that were open-minded. Uh, the fact that you can also interact with them with real-life problems and try to apply them to your experience. And also uh, the feedback that you gather with these people when you try to prepare yourself for the exam. An important skill from this program that I've been used to is to be able to analyze files in the forensic uh, perspective. CHFI gives cybersecurity professionals an insight of an incident and with this background you might come up with a solution, not only one but uh, different approaches. I think that's the progress that forensic program could give you. My advice before the exam is to check the summary at the end of every chapter. Gather all the information that you can and you might also be surprised what kind of information you might be missing.